Good to have you home. Thank you, Daddy. Does it look good? <laughs> Thank you, just like you. So, so tell me, how is life at the seminar? That is going well, very smooth. I, I can't imagine anything better. I told you, you would enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I am. Daddy, where is uh, she's there? Oh, I think she went out. She's always going out. Well, one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> the food will soon be ready, so I think you should just pass. Ah. Fresh enough. I've missed mommy's food, I can't wait. <laughs> Go on, God, fresh it up. I'll see you later. Very soon you'll be a reverend father. I can't wait. <laughs> oh boy, enjoy the meal. I've missed your cooking. No. So tell me, how have you been coping at the seminary? Mommy hasn't been busy. Honestly. Things there are done far differently from how we do things here. Of course. They're so coordinated. It's a divine place. It's yeah. sacred. But our Lord Jesus Christ is your strength. Right? Amen. You know what? I, I just can't wait for you to be done at the seminary so that I can <laughs> come here and stay with me. Even if you were going to your parish, uh, I can come there and stay with you as well. Because <laughs> these two weeks is not going to be enough. That reminds me, Mom. How were you able to convince Father Innocent to allow me to come home? Because I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. Do you know how to beg the Father? Beg my tongue, almost talk out of my mouth. Very difficult person to convince. Honestly, <laughs> but men with their powers and yes. charm and everything, no matter how much we are doing, church, 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 we still have our powers, like our Virgin Mary. Mm. You know how to go to anyone and get something. So, and I pleaded with him, he agreed and said, once in a while, you can always come around. You know what? The seminary authority, they do not know you are here now, so it's a top secret. Don't let anyone know. <laughs> as much mm -hmm. mom but honestly this is certainly the best holiday ever trust me i will make you enjoy it every bit of it you're the best i love you as long as your seminar do dad agree for a man to hug a woman of course you're my mother <laughs> really? See, let me explain something <laughs> let me tell you why do you know mm. that this man told daddy that he wants to go and bring his wife and daughter because he was lonely but he agreed it was okay only for this man to come back with his entire generation the lie. i'm not joking no. as in his extent his mother his, his mother <laughs> 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 and they were all staying in that one small room no way that small room <laughs> and as if that one is not enough this man with his family oh. every night night to no, they will not do it during the day, but in the night they will now gather inside a small space. They will now start doing family meetings. That's small. I'm not joking. They will be shouting, insulting each other. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Daddy wanted to run mad. Daddy warned him and warned, gave him so many chances. Um, last last, Daddy was like, I beg, go in. Hey. Me self, I'm even happy. What kind of <laughs> wahala is that one? But the new guy is cool, Sha. I think I, I saw him when I was coming in. I like him. He's alright. He's good. <laughs> I think there's no family meeting. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, hey, say, I want to ask you something. What is it? Isn't it possible that you maybe smuggle in his phone? Even a small one. At least now so we can be talking to you. No way. It's even a crime. Besides, we hardly have time for ourselves. We are always... Yeah, I can't be alone, so there's no way you sneak your phone in and someone would even know you sneak your phone in. Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. There are vows to be taken when you become a seminarian. For instance, our evenings end by 10 p.m. every day. My dear, no woman Catholic seminary is a resort. But few men who study for the priesthood endure those that governs life at the Redemption Master House of Formation. And I know you're wondering what it means. It means it's like uh, modeling Catholic priests that are faithful to church teachings and general authorities. I, I know you didn't get what I said. I don't care. <laughs> now let me tell you about my man. Oh, you have a new man, yeah? <laughs> you need to meet him. Oh. He's so good to me. Babe, why do you keep asking me like this? Why? Babe, 
I know it that you enjoy the attention you got from this issue girl. That is why you are shouting at me. My question is, what did that get to you? What did she do to me? Yes. What did if, she it do? To, if, if it was a woman that came to that shop, would she not sell to her with an attitude? But because of it is a man, she's not even offering. Let me take the bag to the car. This small bag. Let her take the bag to the car with you. You're you here asking me why I'm angry. You're just so funny. In fact, for me, you're a drama queen. I'm funny? Yes. I'm funny, Ray. Yes. So I'm a whole joke because I'm fighting for my rights. I'm funny, Abby. Be laughing. Just laugh or continue laughing. Ray, laugh. Just laugh. Hello, Zitalo. I need to calm down. Hello. Down, I can't hear you. There's nothing you said here I have heard or I understood. Calm down. Let this calm down and come home first. Hello. You're screaming on top of your voice. Let's just calm down first. Just calm down, come home first so that we can talk. Can you please talk calmly? You're just yelling. Hold on, let me call Ray. If you would, let me your discretion. Well, I'm just listening to you. Look at you screaming on top of your voice. Just excuse me. Hello, Ray. <laughs> what? What is it? You don't know, Ray. We went out to the supermarket together, and then there's this sales girl. She was just giving him eyes. She'll be doing her hair like this. She'll be smiling with him. She'll say, can, can I get you this? But he, instead of him to, to rebuke her, he was just acting like he didn't notice because he liked it. <clears throat> or does he know her before then? I don't think so. Did he show any personal interest in her or disrespected you there? No. He would never do that. Please sit. Listen. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that kills any kind of relationship or friendship than lack of trust. You need to learn to trust him. If you truly love him, then you must trust him. But he should have apologized to me now, seeing I was already angry. But instead, he just allowed me to go home by myself. I am so sure that Chizitang did not give him the chance to explain himself. Yes. Listen, you also need to learn to hear people out, no matter how angry you are. Okay, good, good. So, have you called him? And I'm not calling him. Call him. <laughs> I don't to call him. Stop, just call him. Drop is only finished. I'll get another one on my way back from the shop. <laughs> God bless you. Me by taking drugs so that you can get well soon. I promise, promise. I will take my treatment very seriously. There is something on the fire. Let me go and check on it. And you know I have to wait for the shop. Make sure I finish it. Thank you. It's here. Hope you like it. Hello, baby. I'm sorry. Baby, I promise it won't happen again. I promise. Baby, you, you won't blame me. Girls these days are desperate and they're just looking for whose man to steal. Baby, baby, I know, I know. And that is why I am apologizing to you. I am sorry. Listen, I, if I don't care about you, if I don't love you, I wouldn't even want to stop. Thank you, baby. I love you so much more. Bye-bye. I say more! Ali, hey! You never have seen the way to see WO women. Addressed me today as a mere father when they wanted me to contribute to a matter at hand. Honestly, that's interesting. In fact, that was the best choice that we ever made for him. I know so you actually look like a mere father. <laughs> but I should glow in it. I was very happy and proud of him when I saw the way he behaves. Hey. Talks. If you see him talking, you can imagine. Look at the way he served the mass today, walking like an angel. Oh, I guess that is the way they give them the training there, to be quiet and holy. Well, God is faithful and mm -hmm. uh, we are blessed indeed. <laughs> so are. where did he go? Go. He's in those. Does he ah. go anywhere? Yes. I think it's part of the training they give them. They don't go anywhere. They just stay in his room, studying the word of God, meditating every, every minute. But that's a good one. I mean. Let me go and keep that style. I'll join you later. No, Father. All right. <laughs> you can see the way I'm going. <laughs> Wait, I want to understand something. 
You just came out of prison. And you still want to put yourself in another prison. Who does that? Why are you always locked up in the room? Uh, my dear, it's not easy to be a priest. You have to read sermons, sermons and sermons. Well, I get it. But taking one hour out of your day is not going to make... Come on, let's one go hour please. is a lot. Not... You know I can do it. Okay. I'll go with you. <laughs> you have the khaki? Yes, the khaki is with me. Let's go. No. Pa, God gave us a child. So pa, that child is very strong. He has the strength of seven men combined. I can't help you that you get better. Hmm? With a piece of mind. What of you? Bad. Oh, I hope it's not so serious. Okay. You thank God for it. It's well. God bless. How is business? I tried. Hello? Please. What is it? I'm fine. Please, are you mad? Did I ever invite you for my wedding with Ray? Why are you asking me how is my husband? Are you okay? I bet don't be, don't be asking me stupid questions. Rubbish. What is it? Mommy, it's Irene Zeo. We're on our way to the saloon and then he saw one stupid, ugly, smelling, dirty girl that was fighting with some area boys and then he now stopped and started helping her for me night in shiny armor. And now I cannot even fix my hair again. Calm down. Mommy, leave me. I don't know. And all the earth, the chariot, the black horses. You're here already. Oh, Mom, good afternoon. I didn't know you were back. She told me what happened. She said you were involved in a fight with some group of boys. Ah. What happened? I thought you didn't enjoy it. Mom, I'm fine. She's a tower. So I, I don't know. I wasn't involved in the fight. I was with her and. I noticed there this young girl that was being bullied by some boys, so I had to step in for her. I had to speak for her, and funny enough, it was just a defense of little change, money involved. So I had what? to give. Yes, I had to give the no. boys to let her go, and I also wanted to make sure she was safe. I had to take her to her house and left her home before I could leave. That's not so nice of you. Thank you, mom. So, what was the problem she had with them? What was the problem? I don't know for sure, but the only thing I'm sure of is I was Superman. I saved you today. Priest as a Superman. <laughs> and we did what you're supposed to do. Thank you, Mom. At least starting the Good Samaritan work from now, it's not going to be a bad idea at all. Yes, I have to also help my flocks. <laughs> you did well. Thank, Thank you, you, Mom. Thank you. You're good? Oh, you're studying your Bible. That's nice. Maybe I should come so that I can study, we can study together and you teach me too. Mom, I would be delighted to do that. Really? A lot already, but I just have to tell you a little. <laughs> As the Roman father to me, I like that. Thank you, Mom. Can you continue? Let me get something inside. Sure. I'll join you later. I'll be waiting. Bless you. I'm really sorry about yesterday. I was carried away by pity. I need my heart. I'm not feeling well. I mean, say, look, see, my heart is not beating well. I did not sleep yesterday night. All my body is spinning me. I feel like I'm going to fall sick. All because of that awful smell from that stupid girl yesterday. God forbid you won't fall sick. What can I do to make it up to you? No, I can't. I don't even have the strength to stand up with feet. Watch my heart. It's not beating fine. My heart is not beating fine. I know. Okay, I think I have an idea. How about we go shopping? <laughs> Let's go now. I was actually waiting for you to recover first so we can go, but since you're sick... I'm fine! Let's go! <laughs> you are such... But I'm going to get you um, ice cream, a couple of No! Ice cream. You're giving me shoes and clothes and bags! Papa, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? It must be the godsend. Say my grandchild yesterday. That is yes, Papa. My name is Irene And I don't sleep for your granddaughter. So Chima! Papa! This is the man that saved my life yesterday. Thank you, Mother. I will turn all glory to God. Do you mind know? Do you know how many people that passed yesterday and did not bother to help out of fear? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Thank you. I said you were at the backyard. Yes. What were you doing? I was trying to make something about it. Oh really? Do you mind if I join you? Assist you. That's it. No, 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 no. Can we? It's been a pleasure. I'll be back. All right. God bless you. So, how are you? I'm fine. 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 I'm fine.
Hey, Papa, he is set to leave. Oh, my dear, you want to go? Yes, sir. God will bless you. Amen. Please take this place as your home. I shall sure sir. You are always welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Papa, he gave us 15,000 in our medication. Hey, my son. She should tell me, let God bless you immensely. Amen. 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 May success be your portion. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Okay, see you next time. Sure, sir. Yeah. Papa, let me see him up. Yes, I'll be sir. back. Yes, Arise. Oh. Jill, yes. where are the Oh, well, they didn't tell you. She's that one to see Ray. And uh, Arise went to see his friend. Friend? Come on. I love that surprise look on your face. Because I expressed him when he told me he was going out. But I love it. I can go out for the first time since he came back from the seminary. You're right. At least you get to make some friends now. Beth? Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I get you? Are you looking for anything I can help you? No. Maybe a cup of juice. Alright. After you right now. <laughs> it's my turn. My question now. Sorry. Yeah. Let me check it. My birthday. April 1st, 1987. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. Mine is April 1st, 1995. Wow! <laughs> no wonder we act alike. Like we behave, you know? I never met shares the same birthday with me. It, it explains the connection between us. Guess what? Yeah. I have never been this close to anyone except my mom and sister. So the very moment I saw you, I knew you special. Same here. Apart from Papa, there is no one I am close to. So we have to start celebrating our birthdays together. I have never celebrated my birthday. You see this? This one is special. Me. <laughs> I always forget to ask for your number each time you meet. So. Um, I don't have a phone. You, you remember that inside the shop? Um, the fight? Yes. The phone was stolen that day. But I'm planning to get another one soon. Okay. So, how is business? Business is fine. You know I'm supposed to um, get my shares whenever you mix it. Uh, Arisa. Dad. Uh, Arisa. You mean you've been in this house? <laughs> yes, I, I've been inside. How come I didn't know? I didn't see you coming. Oh, that I came in some hours ago. So, where did you go? I went to see a friend. A friend? I think it's high time you met this friend of yours. So, it's in that you did see this friend. Well, uh, that reminds me, I went to see Father Innocent and he complained about not seeing you around. Despite the fact we discussed this and you promised to see him. I'm so sorry that I did go in to see him on Sunday after Mass. It's okay. Try and call him and explain things to him at least. I will. I will. Um, that, that reminds me. How is the building project going? Ah, that's true. I was going to discuss something with you concerning that. Um, the pillars that I want to use, I don't want them to be like cutting. Good afternoon. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. I've been so worried about you. Please know your style of leaving the house every day. Mom, I, I really appreciate love and care. But I also want you to know that I I know what I'm doing. I I know who I am and where I'm coming from. I will never be distracted. Just that I, I enjoy her and this is actually the first time I'm meeting someone that that she's in bed with me. Just that she's eight years older than I am. It's alright. I trust you. Just that I needed a reminder. You're not usually like this. I'd like to know if you're still the son I raised. I am, Mom. I am only raised. Thank you. I was still doing the transfer, but it wouldn't go. Network is a bit weak. Okay. So let me see the service will improve and I can do the transfer. No problem, Mom. At least in the next few minutes or hour, you get it. There's no problem. I had already jotted down some scriptures I want to read today. Okay. I just want to jump. I should go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Excuse me. Okay, mom. The number you might call is. What kind of rubbish is this? 
Babe, don't do this. So don't even try it with me today. Don't try it. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. You better pick that call. I hope you can hear me. You better pick that call. Are you serious? The number you're calling mm -hmm. is not available at the moment. Please. Hey. Hey. Okay. Okay. So. hey. This guy is another woman. Hey. Hey. Ray. Ray. After me and saying you want to take me out, you have the guts to ignore my call because of another woman. Abby, after you say you are not cheating on me. Okay. Hey, oh. Let's read the Maya chapter 10 from 1 to 5. I'll read you. Israel, listen to the message that the Lord has for you. He says, Do not follow the ways of other nations, do not be disturbed by unusual sights in the sky. Mm -hmm. Even though other nations are terrified, the religion of these people is worthless. The tree is caused down in the forest. It mm -hmm. is cut by the tools of the woodwork worker. Mm -hmm. Are you alright? Oh, it's real. I would have left this relationship a long time ago, but you kept insisting I was the one causing problems. Jesus, what happened? Me, who was supposed to meet up today? I finished doing my makeup and everything, and I've been calling this guy. He's not taking up my calls. Yes, that's the problem. No, the problem is I think deep in my heart I feel like he's with another girl, and that's why he's not taking my calls. Where did you get that idea in from? Obviously, you didn't get that from me because I give people the benefit of the doubt. Why don't you calm down? I don't see a reason you two are together if there is no trust. If the relationship can't work, certainly the marriage will not last. Indeed. I've been trying to talk to her, but she's looking for who to embarrass. Obviously not me. If you can't go, stay back home. You won't die. Oh, you? No. Hello? Who is this? What? What is it? Are you okay? Okay, okay. Yes, you. It's Ray. What happened? They said he slumped in his house this morning and he's in the oh hospital. Goodness. Mommy, I have to go. Please be careful. Oh, God. So please just man. Instead of her to calm down and know what is wrong with the young man, but her own is such oh. he's with someone else, he's with this, he's doing that. No wonder the young man has not been taking her calls. Oh, exactly. You know what? Please can we continue with our studies? Oh, I feel. The woman needs to be here. Okay. Thank you. I'm so thankful. It, it, it's, it's huge. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you did. First thing to know, Mom, you want to see me just stuff. And promise me that I'll be the first person. Yes, I <laughs> I don't know what I have done to deserve this love and attention from you. Though, sometimes I travel to go see my mom. And I have to come back because I have to take care of Papa. But no one has shown me this kind of love. Tell me, where are your parents? My mom gave birth to me at home. That is why I'm still single. People call me a bastard. Stop it. You are not a bastard. Well, that is the term used for someone like me. Forget about it. Yes, you are single. Thank you. I miss you right now. Yes. Pictures. I feel I want to see the pictures. Okay. Yeah. Just, just to me now. You know I wouldn't tired of seeing you. Please, just say that. Mm, say like, uh, if you can, as many as possible. Okay. I'm expecting them. Okay. If I next uh, two minutes and I don't see the pictures, I'll call you back. Okay. Young man, 
don't know where you have been going. I don't know who you have been going to see. But remember that you have just a few more days to go back to the seminary. And then arrange yourself to see Father Innocent. Because it's obvious you don't have any more time. That I don't need a reminder. When next you're making a demand from God, use no one as a collateral. Arise! What is wrong with you? Why are you like talking to your father like that? Mom, Mom, I feel different. I don't even know who I am anymore. Mom, I deserve to be in love and to be loved. I, 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 it's not who I want to be, mother. It's not your fault. My son, it's not your fault. Your father made a vow. He made a vow to God. After five years, we got married. No child to show for it. He now promised God, if only God can give us one child to prove to the world we are not different, we are not barren. But that child, whether a male or female, is going to serve God for the rest of his life. Mom, I could still serve God without priesthood. People get married and still serve God. Mine would not be an exception. I know. Mom, for the very first time in my life, I am genuinely in love. Please don't view it for me, I beg you. I'm not ringing, but you cannot be a priest in another church. We are Catholics. We want you to be a priest in our own church. I didn't say please. I don't see it as if we're wicked. Me. It's our vow, it's our word before God. We cannot stop at this point. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Now, what are we going to say? I call this meeting because of what happened earlier today. As long as I am alive, no child of mine living under my roof will flap my borders. It's for you, Arisa. Start getting ready to go back to the seminary in a few days because uh, Father Innocent is already waiting to take you back. With all due respect, Father, I am tired. I am tired of playing a middleman in your business with God. I am in love with someone. What? And surprisingly, for the very first time in my life, I am genuinely happy. And I will not let anyone come between me and that happiness. Excuse me, Father. Arise. Arise. This is what it was all about. Arise! 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 What? Arise, no. No, 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 not too well at all. Did you see shock in Daddy's eyes? Did you see the pain and regret in his eyes? I mean, the mommy is so broken, she feels like the entire world will laugh at her. I mean, listen, I need to speak to whatever demon is possessing your mind. And to that daughter of the sea, that evil girl, God will punish her. My heavenly father will visit her. I mean, they... Why are you so sad? Why are you so broken? I said, brother, I married you. Papa, why is life so unfair? That's pedigree. No man has shown interest in me. Because no one wants to be associated or caught the husband of a bastard. The only man I ever loved cannot walk because he's a priest and he has to serve the living God. The most high. But who am I to find God? Who am I? God's time is the best. God can be the best. Let God's will be <laughs> is high and this is injurious to your health I love you could have stroke I want you to do me a favor act as if nothing happened trust me I will go back to the seminary what have I not done for this boy why would he want to embarrass me my love this is a misunderstanding I will need to resolve it with wisdom please this young man Arisa feels so compelled to do what we want and not what he wants. It's our duty to convince him that this is his purpose on earth. This is his calling to be a priest. Please, I beg you, let us show him love. And you getting angry at this point will not help anything. It will worsen the situation. 
Let us trade with caution, I beg you. Please. Life is only gold. So you cannot be blaming yourself. Blaming yourself. For two days now, you have been standing. And you, you have refused to demand your mask off. That feeling is so bad because you are in love. And you have feelings for him. Otherwise, you could have, if not, you could have carelessly you know, forgotten about him. This love gave me a chance to explain himself to you. To explain himself to you. Papa, Papa. I promise I'll do an advice you. Give me a chance and stop avoiding that. I promise you. You'll be very relieved talking to you from the spirit. Oh, but Papa, he would have told me. He would have told me. But no, he allowed me to go far with my feelings for him. And I'm trying so hard to get over him. It will be okay. We'll be all right. I raise it, you know. There is one thing I want you to understand clearly. And that is uh, that your mom and I never choose to offend you or compel you to do something that is not right. We want the best for you. Though the choices we made for you sometimes may seem as wickedness, but I bet you, seven God was the best choice we made for you. Dad, you Dad, but I still serve God in different ways. For Christ's sake, Dad, I am your only son. How do you intend to carry on the family, the family lineage with, with me? My sister will soon get married and build another man's compound. Dad, wait. Do you have any intention of replacing me with an adopted child? No. Don't talk like that. I reason. Not at all. You're my son. We love you. Listen, you can never be replaced. Never. Everything I have worked for in this life will always be for you. Come on. Listen, Adarese, I have also seen many priests and reverend fathers live comfortably. You will not be an exception. I, I have decided to leave the girl and go back to the seminary. So? That will be sad for the rest of my life. Thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you for this shame from the family. Yes. I might never talk to you again. Yes, I I came to the house and Papa told me that you were not at home. No, 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 no. Fault. I should be the one apologizing. I, I, I cared for you because I was scared of losing you. I'm so sorry. Are you? I, I can. Okay. Then now. This is Daniel. Mommy, you're a woman. Apart from the fact you're a woman, you're a human being. Be a little considerate. I don't like this, your incessant complaints, incessant nagging, too much. You complain virtually about everything around you. If you don't complain about Ray, you complain about Arinze, everything are, 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 are in your eyes. Yet you said we are friends. What kind of friendship are you into? Mommy, just don't mommy me at this point. Just listen and listen good. Sorry. Even Bible condemns a nagging wife. He said it's better for you, a man, to go live on a rooftop than to live in the same house with a nagging wife. Is that what you want for yourself? To nag? To make a man around you to be uncomfortable? Someday you're going to get married. Who will live in a house with you like that? How will you raise your children? Okay, will you complain about your own children too? Ray has complained and complained. In fact, he is now tired of complaining. He decided he doesn't do it right, he does it this way, he does it that way. Must he do it exactly as you want it? Come on, you're so picky. You're so obsessed with perfection. Now let me ask, are you perfect? Just shut, just keep quiet. Are you perfect? You are not, nobody is. Someday you're going to get married. And in your house, you now see your husband as your enemy, indirectly. Be careful, just be careful, woman. You're not a man. Apart from being a woman, you're a human being. 
Learn to tolerate. Learn to accommodate your fellow human being. We are one in the sight of God. Yes, mommy. What? <laughs> I thought as much. I trust you. There is no way you would have heard about this rumor and not act fast. I know you. I know my friend. Nay, it's about Arinze, your brother, and that cursed girl, Sochima. Their story is everywhere, and you better act fast before your brother gets problem at the seminary. Wait, wait who, who is Sochima? You serious right now? I, I, I have no that is. Like, you don't know Sochima? No. The, the, the old foul bastard that owns the salon shop. I mean, the girl told me I helped the other day now. No, 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 no. no. Ah! My brother. My brother with that old... You looks older than mom. Are you serious? Yes. It's not possible. <laughs> it's that dirty thing. No, no, no. My brother can't do that. No, even if. <laughs> ah, no, it is not. My simple. dear, That's not true. smell is the least of the problem in her life now. There is a registered history of late marriage in their family. That is why she wants to tie your brother down with witchcraft. And as you know, she, obviously, she can't get married anymore. So she wants to tie your brother. Act fast. Act fast. You. Wait. Let me ask you this thing for one last time. Are you very serious? You should know your friend. I don't like swearing. But because of this, I'll swear. Hey, hey. Do you know she is? Of course I do. You do? I know they are Let dirty Let us go house. to her house. I will show that girl. It's like she has fun. She's mad at me. Hmm. Who is here? Who is? This is where she actually lives. I don't wonder she smells. It's an opportunity. Please, who is in this house? You are welcome, my daughter. Eh? Why did you just call me? Listen, old man, don't ever try that again. Do you understand? Because you see, in this life, goats don't rear lions. So your entire lineage can never produce my type. Do you understand that? Anyways, where is your stinking child? Calm down, calm down. In her shop. Okay. I hope there's no problem. Well, everything is fine. But listen, I need you to warn your daughter to stay clear from my brother. Tell her to stay far away from my brother. Else, she will have me to contend with. And that is before the wrath of God visits her. Did you hear that? I mean, why am I even wasting my time inhaling this stinky smell? Let's go. Okay, I know where she is. <sighs> so, I know how you feel. I heard all she said. All the rubbish. Don't allow it to, 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 to break you down. Just forget about her. Forget about her mouth to break you down. Now, the person I took that is <coughs> come back and save me. Save us this, this problem. Papa, Sachima, uh, what is the problem? We are, we are, we are, we are saying with a friend. And give us a piece of what? That's not important. I, I clean your daughters. I to you. I, I sincerely want to apologize on behalf of my sister. Whatever she must have said, don't. I'm deeply sorry. Please, I'll get to the end of this. Please. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. How do you go around and decide to go on this long girls? Just imagine. She has to cut mine tonight. So I'm a woman. Yeah. All those cut yours for you. You cut mine tonight. Yeah, I'll put that. I'm sorry to you that. Please, Dad. Please. Help me talk to your daughter. Never intrude in my business again. Because when next she does that, I will. Hell will let me. You know you can't run to me. What is the problem? I'm your father. What is the problem? Dad, I think your daughter is in a better place to explain everything to you. Oh, really? Really? I mean, say. I don't want to mention it, but now that you have, let us talk about it. Daddy, I went to confront that village girl that has been making Arinze lose his mind and that is his problem. Wait a minute. You mean Arinze is making all this fuss because of a woman? Exactly. Now, 
listen to me, that I allow everyone freedom to do whatever they would like to do in this family does not make me a fool. I never had that such luxury when I was growing up. So that I decided to have peace in my house. No child of mine must give me it. Is that clearly understood? And as for you, Aris, go inside there, pack everything you will need till the day of your ordination in the seminary. Because I'm taking you back to the airport and then straight to the seminary. Come back from the seminary. Do that. Talk to your children. Make sure he does. Let him get ready because I'm taking him back. Have you seen what it costs? This whole thing is your fault. Mm -hmm. Cost it. Mm -hmm. What rubbish is this? Hey, this is rubbish. Look at this. Honestly, I really has made a very costly mistake. Costly mistake. I'm to deal with that girl and her family ruthlessly. Such a way that he will have no choice but to return to the seminar. Ha! Sweetheart, take it easy. Your health is paramount. My health is not paramount to anything. No child of mine under my roof will disgrace me and go unpunished. None at all. It's okay. Please, let it go. No, 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 no. Yes, Daddy. Get ready. You will take me to that girl's house. Let me go and change. Okay, Daddy. My daughter, let me pray for you. I bring, I bring it for the Lord. Your help shall come from the above. You shall not suffer your foot to, 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 he that keepeth Israel shall keep you. The Lord will be thy keeper. The Lord shall be a shade upon your right hand. The Lord shall preserve you. The only preservation you from all evil is when my son comes out of this place. Ah. Yes, come, go inside, David. What kind of thing? That's a daughter that cannot put her legs together. Keeps keeping my son here. Somebody who is supposed to be in seminary school. Bring him out from there. What's the problem? People will not respect themselves so that they can respect them. You have a daughter who won't close her legs. I don't understand you. What, what is your problem? Wait a minute. Eh? What's your problem? This. My daughter. Is that the person you're looking for? Your daughter? Yes, of course. I thought she died many years ago. God forbid. Died well. My daughter is at all nature with the husband. And I live him very well with the family. Ah, David, David, come out. Please, my daughter. Come out, come out. Can I reach her? Nelly, who are you? Can, can, can I reach her by any means? Who are you? My name is Chukwe Meka Ibe. She's Chukwe Meka Ibe. Chukwe Meka Ibe. Am I right? Chukwe Meka Ibe. Yes. Oh, so you are the father of my granddaughter. I see. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. What 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 one here? That is think. Your granddaughter? I never knew I was three months pregnant when I stopped seeing Ibeka. I later heard he traveled to China with his master for business trip. You are a very wicked girl. Next, you are a very wicked girl. You are a witch. You are a devil. And what were you thinking? You are a wicked girl. No, that's good. We get there from a wicked home. How can you take my, go and bring my child from school and you forget her lunchbox? No, Why would she not go to school tomorrow? What were you thinking? No, I'm sorry, nothing. Sorry, nothing. sorry, you buy the van. In fact, sorry, do not buy the more. No, I'm sorry. When people tell you sorry for the rest of your life, I'm oh, sorry for what? I'm oh, sorry. Ned, I need you to continue managing my business. Just one more year. Then my uncle will say to me, I will send you back to school. Thank you so much for always being there for me. Like, you don't know what joy you've given me. How did you manage to come out here? Uh, my uncle and auntie went out. And they will be going to a ninth video from there. I'm sure they won't come back today. Good news, good news. Mm, by good news. At least you have a moment of peace. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to put water and drop to that car. And how I can come and join you. And maybe later, where's the car? Okay, I'm with you. Careful. Join me. No, okay. Okay. Auntie, I... Hi, Auntie. You will always try. Auntie is not me now. Yeah. Auntie, I was washing the toilet when I had the sound of the breaking plate now. Auntie is not me. Auntie is Amara. 
Hi, Auntie, believe me. Hey! Oh, believe me. God punish you. Oh, Auntie. Metonda, blind you. Amen. Who did I leave this house for? Please, now, me. Mm. Is it that I left the house? Me, Auntie. And Amara came inside. My Amara. Auntie, is Am Hi, Amara. I want Amara. That entered this kitchen and broke this Hi. plate. Hi, Auntie. I will not touch it. You see this plate? Auntie. You finish it. Mm -hmm. Start eating. Mm. Start eating it. Is it not plate? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't get the number. I'm not saying anything that's coming out from your eyes. You cannot cry. That means you know what you're doing. Auntie, this thing will Witchcraft is no. eating deep inside you. Auntie. You broke my plate. You are breaking everything in this house. You want to render me useless as you start eating it. Auntie, I'm Biko, whenever, whenever everybody's out, is, you rest. Biko, I will not get any, any gear like you again. I'm not get any gear like you again. Serious talking. Is Sunday not your only resting day? Ah. Are you resting now? Forget though. Whenever I'm tired, I'll, I'll go to the warehouse and sleep. I'll leave the shop with the boys. Nine. Okay. I've heard you, Chief. I'll do that. Where did you get all this money from? Ah, ah. You think I'm a, a small boy? Just think. This, this is for your yes. This is for your upkeep. So oh. that you can buy all these small small things that you eat. Hey, I don't, I don't need to thank you enough. What could I have been without you in this place? Oh, just use it and manage some things, all this small, small thing. Morris, whenever your auntie come with the style of giving you fasting without prayer, you can find a way and go out and use it and buy something to eat. Biko. I will do just that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Come here. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Definitely, everyone knows the day flowered one day. I just want you to promise me that you'll always be there for me. I'm already doing that, and I promise I'll be con I'll continue. Thank you. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. Thank you. As you already know, I will be traveling with Dorga to China tomorrow morning. I come out here to see if I can see Nedi so that I can talk to her before I travel. Mm, yes, I I uh, I was telling my mom yesterday, yesterday night that I should be leaving very early tomorrow morning. But all is fine. Papa, not like that. I understand. I promise you to come and get to see her. I will tell her everything and how everything came out. I know it was not your fault, but you have to try. Not you talk to her in another way, please. No, no. Sorry to bother you, but I've not seen a maker for some days now. Hope he's okay. Yes, she's fine. We traveled to China with our guy. How? By land. Our guy drove the car from this compound to the airport. Eh, they traveled the plane from the airport to China. My own Hemi. He didn't even bother to tell me. I did not tell you. And we got to ring this in our heads for the past two weeks that they'll be going to China. Oh, no, no. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he has his own personal plans. Sorry, Vico. Do you have any idea when he's going to come back? Six, eight months minimum. But let me tell you, recently, I woke up to a new house in China. So he can spend one year. Last two weeks, he sent goods to Nigeria, and I'm the one managing the whole shop. And I, I'm not the. I told you I'm the one managing the shop, and you're looking at my slippers. I'm the one managing the shop now. I'm the new guy in the shop. After selling, I will send my the money back to our guy in China, and they'll bring you goods. Six months. Minimum six months. Minimum six months. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I you're a very stupid girl. So you can stay in my house, eat my food, drink my water, sleep on my bed, and you will go outside and open your stupid left leg to a man and you will get pregnant. Oh. Yeah? Under my roof. Don't begging me. No. Shut up. 
Don't talk. Auntie, don't beg me. Because oh, I cannot house a bastard child in my house. Fine, Auntie. It's good you are not an orphan. Fine. So at least you can go back to your parents. Auntie, please. I get the. Get out of my house. Let me not see your two legs like this in my house again. I saw a couple Go open your legs. Get pregnant again. When you give birth to this one, get pregnant Auntie, again. Give birth another girl. Give birth another baby. All of them in your father's house, Auntie, not in my house. Idiot. I'll punish you here. Auntie, the devil's work or not my work now. Oh, Auntie, oh. Hi. Hi. Auntie, please, please. Oh. Auntie, go out to me. Auntie, how are you? Um, please, I'm looking late. I want to collect something from her. Okay. I don't know what you want to collect from a dead person. Dead person? Don't understand. Ned, you died a month ago. What don't you understand? Indeed, God is the greatest, the greatest all. What brought us tears and shame has turned into smile for everyone. For everyone. Indeed, <laughs> God is really the greatest. You know, today just remember the day we had uh, a race after years of childlessness. Mm. God has really been faithful. Very faithful. Faithful. I want to seek for your permission to take care of Suchi. I want to give her that lifetime experience and enjoyment and benefit from me, which situation has deprived me of giving her. Why not? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. In my 100% support. Hey! Papa, Papa, I'm sorry. Mm. I'm <laughs> everything. Oh, no, no, no. Get the blue grudges. This is to smile and be happy. No tears. What about what your tears off? And enjoy yourself. Hey! I'm so happy for you. Oh, that. thank God. Yeah. You know? Every time she sees you, she just reminds me of you every day. And you know, she will share birthday with you. Of why I share the same birthday with my sister. Well, such a when were you born? April 1st, 1987. What's it? That's wonderful. Beautiful coincidence. Lady, I'd like to ask you, just tell me any business you want to do. And I will gladly support you so that you can start life. Fresh. I don't want you to start saying you want to pay me back for anything no, at all. No, I just want you to start life afresh again. All the same, I've always wanted to do rapper business. Rapper? It's an abadana man. It's a very nice one. And no problem, I will connect you to my metal suppliers. They will see you. Yes, they are going to work with you. They will supply everything you want. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Come here. Hey. A nice woman. Thank you very much. Always well. Always well. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. Here. Okay. You are sorry. <laughs> Dad, well, this is clear that everything happens for a reason. For us to fulfill our purpose. I, first mom, Dad, I'm, I'm truly sorry for how I gave to my attitude. Please forgive me. Dad, I also believe that it was God who allowed me to go through that part so you can get closer to your lost daughter. Yes, sir. I don't want you to talk too much. God has done what he will do. Uh, and it's my very on our side, of course. Mm -hmm. um, today I must tell you I'm the happiest man on earth. It really shows that God was actually involved in all the things that happened. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Dad, Mom, in two days I'll be going back to the seminary. But this time on my own volition. Dad, Mom, I, I discovered something. Not every from a parent is actually selfish. Sometimes God uses our parents to, to, to push us to action. And I think that's the same thing for my case. Because if it wasn't for you, maybe, who knows? <laughs> wow. Come here, sir. Wow! Priest. Thank you. My God will see you through. Amen. 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 And you will come out of the best, one of the wonderful, one of the powerful priests ever. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen